it's a great it's a great thing that this is it's the amazing awards for women now who is the most amazing woman in your life is it your mom your grandmother you've got to have your wife on there your sister or your auntie or anyone who works and uh, or anyone who works and commitment goes unnoticed if so then you still have time to put the names forward for the amazing women awards 2019 now here to tell us more about the awards i do believe it is ross thurston on the line thornton ross how are you Hi, I'm fine, Mark. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time. Did I do it justice? You know, you know. Yes, you did. It's great. It's great. I, I, I'm so I tried, excited. I, I tried to do my best. Uh, now, these awards began in 2017. Were you involved in the original setup? Yes, I was. Um, and, and the reason why I started it was because I worked for 20 years in local government. And I what I noticed was where there was poverty... Uh, the women actually bore the brunt of the inequalities in society. And I felt that with a bit of support and encouragement, what I noticed was they were able to set up projects at very low cost, but actually had quite a large impact on the people around them and their communities. And I thought, hmm, if this is happening in the small patches that I've worked in in London, then it must be happening all over the country. And so I always wanted to shine a light on this type of work. And when I had the opportunity, when I set up my business three years ago, I thought, as soon as I've got the opportunity, I'm going to do it. And I, so I um, set it up in 2017. And uh, it was a lot of hard work. And in 2018, we had a break. And during that time, I had lots and lots of emails from women saying, when's the next awards? When's the next one going? And um, so here we are. Next one's in uh, March 2017, 2019. Wow, so you got some great response then. Mm, I did, I did. We got over 140 nominations in 2017 and from five different countries as well as nationally. So I was quite surprised that people from abroad were actually hearing about it and nominating people from abroad. Mm -hmm. So you had people from abroad um, and, of course, people here, you know, in the UK. Mm. What, what type of things were on the nominations that were entered in? Wow. Well, I can talk about some of the uh, winners um, that we had last year. For example, we had a lady who was involved in the assisted dying of her son um, because he had uh, Huntington's disease. We had another lady who uh, was able to adopt some children from Africa um, who were um, at risk um, of child sacrifice, and she was able to bring them over to the, to the UK and she adopted them. There was about four children. Um, you know, we've had another woman who set up a business and she was helping single mothers by offering lots of flexible work time and really encouraging them, giving them lots of support so that they could get off benefits. So, you know, we've had lots and lots and lots of stories like these. We've had an, uh, another woman who opened up her front door to young people um, as a refuge to get them away from gangs and gun crime. So, you know, we've, we've heard so many fantastic stories. It would take me so long to, to, to go into all of them. But, but one thing I do know is that um, women, once they get together um, and they put their minds to something, because what I find is that confidence is a big issue for women. And as, as soon as they get a little bit of confidence, they can actually achieve some fantastic things. So we're really all about getting ordinary women to, who are achieving extraordinary things. Mm -hmm. And the event is taking place uh, this year again. There's a deadline. We'll give out that in a moment. Yes. Um, you know, what's our, you know, have you had a huge number of nominations this year? Yes, we have. I mean, uh, the nomination deadline is on the 19th, and we've had just shy of 100 so far. So, you know, there's still time to get a few nominations in. We've also this year, which is a bit different, Mark, is that we've actually got a sponsor this year. Give As You Live is our, our sponsor this year, and they're an online platform that supports charities. And uh, they raise money for charities and it's free of charge for people to register. So we're really pleased that we've actually got um, a, ma a major sponsor this year as well. So, um, yeah, the deadline's Great. on the 19th of, of January yeah. and people can still nominate. So people can still nominate yeah. and it can be anyone you know, uh, that you see doing great work or even if it's your, your close loved one, isn't it? Yeah, it, it could be your partner, it could be your sister, your mother, it could be... Uh, you know, a volunteer at a local charity. It could be the, a mum at a school gate. It could be just somebody who you see working in a shop, but actually they're doing some great things behind the scenes. You know, it could be anyone. And then this is what we like. We, it could, it's just could be anyone on your street or anyone in your family that you think 
they deserve an award for what they're doing. Um, they're doing a great job. And the things about these awards, whether mm. you, you, of course, it's nice to win, isn't it? But mm. uh, even just being nominated and taken apart gives the individual a great feeling of worth, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, I mean, um, not only the the um, shortlisted uh, finalists that, that got that, but actually all the women that attended in 2017, when we looked at the feedback that we got, uh, quite a large number of women said, actually, they, this has really inspired us to go into our community and have a look and see what is it that we can do. Well, how can I make a difference? How can I make an impact? How can I improve areas? A lot of people talk about things and complain about things, but actually how many of us are actually going out and doing things um, that actually make a difference and, and is having an impact to, you know, to, to improve things for everyone? You know, we, we all know that, you know, we can't rely on the government for everything. You know, some, at some point we do have to, to get together as a community and um, do things for ourselves. Great. And one of the taglines I use very often in, in my community work is unity in the community. Exactly. You know, we've got to, instead of moaning about stuff, let's get up and yeah. do things. And and what we found was that the, the shortlisted candidates said, you know, this has really inspired us. Quite a few of them have gone on to do other things and win actually other awards, even though they didn't win one of one of our awards. They, they went on to win other awards. And, you know, the people who attended said that, you know, it really, like, gave them something to, to look forward to. So we've, we've had over 50% of the tickets been sold already. Um, and last time, the, all the tickets sold out two weeks before the event. So we are looking for, you know, a similar, similar kind of experience this year. So, you know, oh. quite excited. I'm looking you know, forward to it. You know it is, uh, Ros, it'll be lastminute.com. It'll be oh, like... No, I know. <laughs> it's, it's International Women's Day in March as well. So, yeah. you know, we, we need to think, with, what with the hashtag Me Too movement and, you know, there's been lots of talk in the press about gender parity and things like that. We really, it is a real good time for women to just get together collectively and, and look at our achievements. But, you know, I run my own business. I see a lot of women in business, a lot of women who have done well, getting lots of accolades. I see celebrities getting accolades. But actually, I want to see somebody who looks like me. I want to see somebody, you know, an ordinary woman on, off the street, one, somebody like my neighbours or, you know, my mum even could, could win an award. I, I don't see those kind of awards and this is why I wanted to create one. Um, and, it's, and it's truly multicultural, you know. We have, we have women from all over the place. We, we've got women from the Caribbean. We've got African women. We've got Jewish women. We've got, you know, Irish women. We have women all up, from all over, Asian women. And, and it's great. It's just, it is truly a multicultural um, event. And uh, yep. that's, that's another thing that people fed back about and said that they liked about the event. Brilliant. So it sounds fab. We've obviously got until next Friday, yeah. uh, the 19th of January. Um, just quickly wrap up for us. How can people put forward their nominations? And can you tell us a little bit more where the awards will be taking place as well? Yeah, so they can get on to the nominations page from my uh, website, which is www.amazingwomenglobal.com. Or they can just go to my Facebook page and contact me through my Facebook page, which is Amazing Women Global. So the event's going to take place in Kensington in London, uh, which is a very prestigious part of London. We're very lucky um, to, to have got the Millennium Gloucester Hotel. And it takes place on the 30th of March, which is a Saturday. And it takes place over afternoon tea as well. So it's something different to the usual sort of dinner and dance um, that t normally takes place with awards. We thought we'd do something different. And um, it takes place in the afternoon on Saturday, the 30th of March. To have a great day out and be back home as well mm, later exactly. on. Or go out, go out. Oh, go out, go out. Because <laughs> I'm not sure if we spoke before, Roz, but I think one of the questions when I spoke mm. to uh, someone about an, an event like this so before, mm. I was like, you know, in years to come, will you sort of like roll it out, take it around the country? Well, p p potentially. I mean, I want to roll it out and take it around the world. Mm -hmm. Why stop at the country? Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, even, yeah, you know, uh, even better, you I, know. I have actually had inquiries from Africa, from Asia, from South America. So, yeah, we, we're working on it. Brilliant, brilliant. Mm. Well, amazingwomenglobal.com. Yeah. And this is good. This is So, in a couple of years' time, you see, you know, because it's such a, a great thing, uh, rewarding and, and noticing you know, women's great contribution, mm. uh, uh, Roz. Uh, what will you be working on in the next couple of years then? Because this will be running itself soon. <laughs> 
Well, in the next couple of years, hopefully I'll be traveling with this and giving talks all over the world, talking about how we as women can rise up and do more and be more. You know, um, I find with a lot of women, it's just about a bit of confidence. And, you know, I do uh, confidence building workshops. I do career building workshops. I do financial empowerment workshops because I believe that there are the three major things that women need um, in life just to get themselves out of if they're in a rut or if they're lacking confidence or if they're suffering from imposter syndrome. You know, these are the three key areas that if they can just get a hold of those and actually get themselves up and get themselves out and doing the things that they love and they enjoy and living their life's purpose. Brilliant. So I want to be traveling around the world talking about this stuff. Well, uh, you know, I'll, I'll watch this space. If I'm still here and you also do what you're doing, I'll probably be speaking to you on an international dialing code, right? Yes. We'll see. We'll That's see what fun. happens. Anyway, Fabulous. fantastic. Keep up the great work and I Thank hope you. all goes well. Thank, Thank you very you much. Thank you so much, Mark. Cheers, Bye. my pleasure. Bye. Bye. So the Amazing Women Awards is held over afternoon tea. Yeah, it'll probably be in a China Cup as well. On the 30th of March 2019 at the prestigious Millennium Gloucester Hotel and it's in Kensington. It's in London and recognises all those incredible women who go unnoticed, sometimes under the radar, or acknowledged for their selfless, selfless work that they do each day. And a colleague of mine, uh, award-winning presenter Angie Greaves, will be the one hosting the awards. So it's going to be all good. Yeah. <laughs>